Hey there, it's Anne from Cloud Layers, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can showcase your Instagram feed on your WordPress website, making it more appealing for your website visitors. So if you're ready to see how you can do that, let's get started. So tell me, do you want to get something as beautiful as this on your WordPress page so that when your users click on this, they can see this. And then when they click on this view on Instagram, they're immediately added to your Instagram page so they can follow as well. Well, it's possible with the social feed plugin by Quote Layers. And in this video, we're going to explore how you can create something like this on your own. First off, you will need to download the Social Feed Gallery plugin. And once you install it and activate it, you can immediately proceed to adding your account here. So here you can see two options. You can add either a basic account or an advanced account. So let's click on this basic account and allow. And as you can see, it immediately appeared right here. Let's now head to feeds. And here we need to click on this uh, plus feed button. Uh, so on top, we can see account. Here we need to choose the account which uh, feed we want to post on our WordPress. And here you can choose uh, the source, uh, a username or a hashtag. And here you can see in the pro version, Four different versions are available. You can choose a gallery, a carousel, a masonry, highlight, whichever you wish. I will probably use this highlight. It's a very beautiful one. Here you can choose to hide reels um, from the feed. So let's click on this. And then if you want to also um, disclose, let's say, the copyrighted content as well, you can click on this as well. Here you can choose the limits. Um, let's say three images to display and the columns. Let's say one column here. Okay, and let's click on save. And now we have this shortcut right here. We just simply need to copy this, head to pause, either already a created one or a new one, however you wish, click on edit. And here you will simply need to add the shortcut as a shortcut. Let's paste this here and click on save. And ta-da! Our feed is ready. As simple as possible. Another way you can add your feed to your existing blog post is using the Gutenberg blog. So if you scroll a bit down, wherever you want to actually put it, uh, then you will need to add a blog and here you can either search quote layers or social feed gallery and here you can see it appear right here. So if you click on this and you choose the account which we you want to bring to here, you can see it immediately appeared right here. And if you also go to this sidebar, you can also choose uh, the preview options. So it's carousel, gallery, as you can see. Great, that's awesome. I really like it. This one is also awesome. So let's save this. Well, that was it about the social feed plugin. And if you've still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming informative videos. And I'll see you next time and have a nice day. Bye-bye.